Hey, how's it going everyone? I'm Farrell SC and welcome back to our single player series in Ark Survival Evolved. So let me catch up what's been going on. So we ended the last episode with getting a level 40 Ravager. And then we also noticed that in our um, little taming pen on over there, there was a level 20 Stego that was stuck. So um, I ended up taming that one up. Uh, we will go, uh, I'll go introduce you to the new Stego in a bit. Um, but yeah, last episode. So, um, the plan was to get a 150 Stego, which was actually down that way a little bit. I was kind of, the plan was to hit it, work it on up, put it into the trap, call it a day, get a, get a, uh, max level Stego on Aberration. Um, a level 25, uh, Basilisk killed it. So, the backup plan was, there was a 115 bear here. Um, we attempted to get it into the trap, which worked. And I ended up tranking it so much that I ended up killing it. So the backup backup plan was to head up that way. And we ended up finding a Ravager, which was level 40. And yeah, we ended up taming that. And that was pretty much the end of the episode, along with that little Stego that kind of dropped into the trap. So um, what has happened since? So um, I've went on a little adventure because as much as we like, as much as all the um, rocks over here have helped with getting metal, uh, we need metal nodes. We need actual metal rocks to get our metal from. And I have a bunch cooking in here now. It might actually be done. Nope, it's still going. I have a bunch in here right now. 200, 300, and 30, 360 something on this side. About the same on this side. 360 something. Um, I'm going to show you where those nodes are if you guys, one, haven't played Aberration and are kind of playing along here. Um, or if you're around this base area and don't really know where um, uh, metal spawns are. And just to kind of show you guys on the map, once it loads, we are at roughly 20 latitude, 45 longitude, somewhere around there. Anyways, so let's go over the new Ravagers. So what ended up happening? So um, while I was on my adventures, I kind of worked my way up that way. And there is a Ravager spawn that con is continuous up there. And I ended up finding like a level 80 something. And we got that, which was really, really cool. Um, and then I went back up there uh, after I knocked out the first one and then kind of worked my way back up that way. Found an 85. Same thing. Um, long story short, all these were in the 80, 85 range. This one was a level 95 female, so I think eventually I may actually start breeding them. I might wait till we get higher levels and whatnot. Um, don't worry, these aren't the actual original colors. They've more looked like this. Um, I gave them all Ascendant um, candies because, um, yeah, there's been a ton of over raptors and there's been a ton of... Um, Honey dodos around, so I've been collecting the eggs and whatnot. Um, haven't found an ascendant for this one yet, but that's okay. Um, before we get into this episode, so, um, well, the plan is that I'm actually going to show you guys, one, the metal nodes that I kind of found up there. Um, there's also a few down that way. Um, we're going to continue going on an adventure, though, because um, I realized it was really tough to find those, honestly. So I did take the time to look on the wiki just to kind of see where metal spawns are and we are not even close to metal spawns we're not close to really any spawns to be honest so what i may do is we're gonna go exploring today on one of the ravagers and we're gonna go try to find a lot of these metal nodes and possibly a new base location not sure uh we'll see what happens but um we're gonna start out today's episode with some bunny eggs because um why not it's the easter event we got them we might as well just do these and who knows we have 14 of them so it's not like we have a lot there we go uh let's see what we end up getting maybe we'll get something good maybe not i don't know but we're still looking for that uh that bunny chibi so let's see all right another mammoth chibi all right another mammoth chibi okay let's see what it looks like all right, let's get down on the ground, do this. Ooh, he's like, ooh, he's like normal color. Uh, back up a bit, whoop, back up a bit. Yeah, cool, okay, he's like pinkish. Yeah, he's like pinkish, brownish, normal color. Actually, that's like normal, normal color. Okay, well, we got ourselves a mammoth. I'm gonna put him away. Um, it was kind of more the off chance that we might get ourselves a, uh, a good one. Oh, I'm in orbit star. There we go. Um, all right, let me put this away and then let's begin our adventures today. 
So, again... Oh, actually, I gotta show you the stego. Alright. This rope ladder thing is great, too. It's a portable rope ladder, so I can take this on and off if need be. I haven't had to yet, but it's great. I don't actually have to connect the rope ones, like the normal rope ones, because if I did that, I would need, like, 20 rope ones to do this. Uh, one portable ladder works. It's great. So here's our stego. Again, I did give it a... Um, I did also give it a um, ascend. I think I gave it ascendant. It could be Mastercraft. I don't remember. Um, pretty much this thing is not good when it comes to battling, when it comes to um, really fighting for us. So it's been my it's been my berry gatherer. And just to show you guys one little whack. Get you all that. <laughs> like, it is great. Um, so what I've been doing is as I've been kind of running around with the Ravagers here, having them kill pretty much everything in sight honestly um i've been taking all of the um spoil all the meat spreading it out so we get spoiled meat but long story short i'm at 219 arrows as of right now and i have about 400 and change oh a lot more than that 100 200 eh, 300 400 500 600 that's 700 and change um spoiled meat ready to go also they're really good at killing um Whatchamacallits, they're really good at killing scorpions, so we got gotten plenty of chitin, too. Um, you know what I probably should do in the meantime is... Let's fix this. Let's repair the... I need wood. Okay. Shouldn't be that hard. I feel like I have some wood around here. There we go. Wood. Perfect. Come on, give me. So, I don't know if you saw it in there. I'll go over it quickly. Um, I also found along the way um, some loot drops and stuff. So, hopefully we find one today so I can show you guys what we end up getting. Um, I did get this, though, which is actually really cool. A Ascended Metal Sickle. So, um, once all this metal is actually cooked up and ready to go, I think it's just going to be enough to get this, which is actually kind of cool. Um, 132... 133 plus the 31 scrap metal because we took down um i think it was like a tech raptor at some point let's see what we're at so currently we're at 314 and we need literally out of um out of 111 we have 98 um wood which we're going to use a little bit of it now but it's not that big of a deal again really easy to get um the hide obviously we already have which is great and then hopefully we can find a little bit more metal just to kind of put us over the edge there. So um, let's get going. Uh, first of all, do this. So, okay, good. <clears throat> as much as I would like to take some of the other ones, I think we're just going to do this adventure solo today. Um, only because if we do go across like the, um, what are they called? Those like lines, those zip lines, like the natural zip lines. I don't know if them on follow will follow us, or I would have to be riding one in order to cross it. So, um, I'm not going to take that chance, because I don't want to lose one. Um, let me show you the nodes up here, though, first. So, this is the first area. I do have to kind of be... I kind of have to watch out in this area, though, too, because, like I said, um, Ravagers do spawn up here. I also get a couple of Raptor spawns once in a while, so... Um, nothing now, which is good. No, no, not seeing anything, which is good. Okay, so the nodes are over this way. And this is also, like I said, just in case you guys don't know, if you guys are playing on Aberration, kind of doing like a playthrough, like following uh, this series and playing on here, you don't really know where to go, what to do. Um, I've actually found out that it is not over here. What am I doing? Uh, where? Okay, let me take a look at the map. Uh, I should be near it. No, I didn't want to go this way because I couldn't, I almost couldn't get back up last time. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, oh, you know what? I think the nodes are actually right here. It's just that I've already farmed them. That would make sense. Okay, so there's possibly, yeah, 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 because the other nodes are actually on... Oh, why am I getting myself confused already? I literally did this. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. 
So there's like two or three nodes that pop up over here, basically. Okay. And then there's like another one or two that pops up, like right around where these crystals are, basically. I think it's actually like right here, if I'm not mistaken. Um, eventually, hopefully they respawn so I can show you those exact places. But for now, can I make that jump? Ooh, okay, cool. I don't know how we're getting back, but cool. Ooh, there's a rope over there. Oh wait, that's the rope that we were gonna do last time, but we didn't end up doing it. All right, ooh, there's a rope here, okay. Let's look at this area first. Let's see if there's anything good in here before we start going on ropes and whatnot. Why am I hearing like a, like that obelisk sound? Eh. All right, anyway, whoa, whoa, cut. You do have to watch out for those mushrooms too, because you will actually react to them and whatnot. So let's see what's down here. Ooh, is that a metal? Nope. I don't know if it's those. I don't think it's those. There's something similar to it in some of the areas, though, that look like that. And it's actually like... It's basically the same thing as the hallucinogen that is on the ground, basically. It's in the air, so you do have to watch out for it. Um, ooh. Oh, that's going to be from you, isn't it? So uh, I've been mentioning it in the past few episodes that um, there was a 140 that I found along the way, a 140 roll rat, and I have yet to find it again. Well, it's okay because um, closer to base, I found a 150. So it's just a matter of getting back up there and trying to find it. I have no idea how to actually tame a roll rat or anything like that. Um, but we'll learn. We'll figure it out. Hmm. All right. Ooh, I want to go on that zip line. Let's get over there. That's me doing that, right? Not something else. I'm a little nervous, because this guy doesn't have the... Uh, there's no pack bonus right now, so... Oh, yeah, he wasn't even the alpha. He used to be the alpha, but then we got the uh, 95 females, so... All right, no metal over here. I did notice, looking at the map, that a lot of the metal is actually down that way, so you kind of have to get towards... Closer to the center of the map. Um, all right, yeah, let the earthquake happen. My problem is that if I start kind of going all over the place, I just need to make sure I remember a path to get back. Because that would be an issue. We can't get back to our uh, to our base, basically. So, let's see. So what if I cross there? Looks like I can. Oh, wait, that was a blue one. I am going to want to start picking these up because um, eventually um, we might be able to get enough blue gems where we can actually get ourselves a gliding suit, which would, or glider suit, I'm not sure what it's called, um, which I think that would be actually really, really cool to have, especially on a map like this where no flyers are enabled, so it's kind of similar to like Genesis. Um, but, um, ooh, there's a thing here. <laughs> now, to go on these, if you guys don't know, because... Just in case, like I said, you never know. Um, let me get these. There we go. Um, to go on these, basically. So see where that little hash is? Now I'm good to go. I've done a couple attempts where I've jumped, and yeah, I almost fell off like the side of the cliff. So just make sure that little line is there, that little hash, which will put you right on it. So don't make the same mistake I did. <laughs> Uh, there's a Carcanos down. Level you. Can I see? Is there a way? I think there's a way that the Ravager can actually be upside down on this. I'm not going to attempt it, because God forbid I press the wrong button and we get pushed off. But I think there is a way that he can be upside down on this thing. Anyways, let's keep running around here. Hopefully we find something good, too. I would like to get a new... Maybe a maybe a new Ravager. It's gonna be a little bit tough because they're in a they're in a pack. So 
we would need to kind of finagle it where we can kill off the uh, bad ones and then just leave the good one alone where I can just bola it and then we're good to go. But I don't know. We'll see. All right, let's see. To be honest, too, when I look at the map here, I think down going this way is getting us towards the, um, what's it called, the bioluminescent um, area where it's like all dark, but it's like, was that like a little path or is that just... Oh, no, it's... Okay. Um... Ooh, what is that? Oh, isn't that... Yeah, that's what, like the starting place. That's the place that... Yeah, no, that's... I think that's where you start. Well, that's the sanctuary area, right? Maybe we should just head over there, because I think there's actually uh, metal nodes near that, which is kind of funny. At the area that I spawned in, um, no metal nodes. Oh, here we go. Look at this. Oh, these are like the good metal nodes, too. These are the rich metal, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, where are we on the map? Because we have three rich metal nodes right here. So it's just a matter of getting back. Up, but let's see how much we get out of these. Already at a hundred. Uh, we're already at two hundred. Okay. Oops. I didn't want to split. Oh. the 200 on you to start just to see because i don't know how much we're actually going to get out of this so let's see so that was 200 all right so we got 316 from one Oh my god, that's so good. And again, it's a rich metal note, so that's actually that's actually really good. I'm pretty sure these are the rich ones. Alright, so I was only able to break two of them, but look at this. We have a total of 200, 400, 600. We have 700. Um, the only reason why I'm not going to keep going is because my pickaxe is about to break. So um, I think what we're going to do now is we're just going to quickly head on back to base, and then we're going to do some more exploring because I'm really curious to see um, really what direction we want to go in. Now it's just a matter of figuring out where we should go get back so i'm thinking this way i don't know if we can i don't know if we can hop up that way a bit where are you i might not be able to get up that then why would they make this i feel like uh-oh uh-oh 
Alright, we got something down there, so maybe this will work. Oh, damn it. Okay, so he does take damage. Um, we found that out the hard way. Um, Alright, but regardless, let me figure out how to get back to base. Um, so it looks like I probably can make that jump. It's just because he's got a ton on him right now that, um, yeah, we're just not going to be able to make that jump. But that's okay. Um, let's see the map. Yeah, I'm going to probably want to head this way, basically. Ace is like right in there. So, all right, I'm gonna bring you guys back once um, we're back on our adventures again, because I just want to drop this off the base, and then we're gonna do some more exploring. Not only uh, metal gathering, but um, just taking a look at the map, kind of figuring out, um, getting our bearings, and figuring out uh, where we should go next, honestly. So, uh, bring you guys back in a bit. All right, we're on our uh, round two adventures here. Let me go into his stats. Let me just boost that melee a little bit to 198. All right, let's take a look at the map. Let's kind of see where we want to go here. I'm thinking just straight south because, yeah, one, metal nodes. Two, I think that's heading towards bioluminescent um, area. So let's head that way. So I also um, went around and grabbed a little bit more wood and everything, too, just so all that metal can uh, be good for us right when we get back. Um, so we'll be able to take care of that. And then um, we'll be able to get that uh, Ascendant Sickle, I think. Everything else is really easy. Everything else we pretty much have. So it's just a matter of getting that Ascendant Sickle, um, which would be really, really cool, honestly, because one, that's going to get us a lot of fiber. Um, it can get us some... Um, Prime fish meat too, which is actually kind of cool. Um, let's see here. Where do I want to go? I want to stay away from the ravagers. That's a level um, 85. Yeah. It's kind of good on this map that these guys don't really take full damage. I mean, unless you decide to like take them off like three or four story buildings, essentially, um, then they'll probably take some damage. Um, and 25 almost killed ours. All right, he's got a level, so let's bump that into melee. Now, I was actually heading down there, and I realized, I told you guys we would look at some of the metal nodes, um, just in case if you're in this area. Let me head up this way. Unless there's more Ravagers, because this guy can't can't do this if, um, if there are more Ravagers up here, or Raptors for that matter. Uh, I think you're at level 20. I keep checking you at 15. We are going to need a higher level, um, some form of wolf dog, shine horn. I mean, I would prefer shine horn, but um, anything that's going to give us light, basically. A feather light would be really, really cool, too. I just don't know where they would be here. Um, anyway. Okay, no, this is just over wrap. Where are those nodes? I think they're over this one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're over this one. Old dog. Okay, no, I didn't actually have to go down and. Got an interesting bear though. What level are you? Uh, 15. 
All right, so not good enough. Yeah, I think they're back here, actually, now that I think about it. And I'm pretty sure they're right over here. Again, they're not here, but yeah, this is it. Yeah, they're definitely right around here. Okay. What is that? Oh, bees. Oh. Oh, we got a beehive here. Okay, cool. And then the other node should pop up somewhere around here. But unfortunately, right now, I guess it's just taking a little bit longer to respawn. Anyways, I think we're going to head... Um, like I said, I think we're going to head... Oh, cool. We are going south already. Okay, I don't want to make that jump. I probably want to jump there. Take that little trek over there and then go from there. Yeah, let's see what happens. Jump here. Let's see make it, make it, make it. That little bridge. It should be like right here, right? Trek over. Oh, I could have just went over there. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Alright. Trek over there. There we go. Ooh. Got a Spino down there. Let's see what level it is. Uh, Sarko, Spino. Nope. What else? Oh, uh, that's a node. Ooh. There's a Spino below us. Can't tell what level. That's okay. What about the Carcanos? Ten. Alright. Nope. Keep going. Alright, we got raptors, so we're not going that way. So we're gonna go this way. Let me just keep making sure I'm looking at the map here, because I'm gonna want to continue to go south, basically. Uh, okay, Carno. Okay, um, I'm gonna want to go this way. Jump on the mushroom and take a quick look. Yeah, let's go down that way. I don't know how we're going to get back up, but... I think we'll figure it out, right? I don't think it'll be that bad. Um... Yeah, he's only going to take a little damage. Why not? Alright, barely any damage. Not sure how we're getting back, but that's okay. No big deal. All right, let's keep going here. Let's hopefully find something good on the way. Um, old dog. Uh, yeah. Incarno. 25. Good bull dog. Yeah, man. Slowly but surely. Level 10. Ugh, all right. Um, I feel like we're getting close to bioluminescing, because it's getting all blue and everything over here. Yeah, I feel like we definitely are. Uh, 15. Let's go up here. Because I kind of want to see... What the heck is that? Oh, there's art the blur on this map. Uh, I hate those things. 35. 55. Sarko, okay. Um, Ravager, okay. Let's see here, this is actually a pretty cool area. Wait, is that? No, okay. Where's the Ravager? It was right over there. Where'd it go? Oh, it's right there. Okay, let's see what level these guys are. Right, oh, there's the good one. 95. Okay, not bad. Um, ooh, raptors. 20 and 5. Okay, but getting pounds, that doesn't make a difference. We're dead if we get pounds. So let me see if I go this way. This looks really cool down here, actually. 15 bear, that's fine. Uh, Polacant, that's coming out of the water a bit. One thing we do have to be on the lookout for is um, otters. Apparently there's aberrant otters in here too, which would be actually kind of cool to pick up one. Um, okay, so that's bioluminescent area over there. 
Now, how do we get there? Thirty. I don't know if we're gonna get much better than a thirty, though. Honestly, at least for right this second. Oh yeah, glow. Th those things are level one. There's another bold dog. What level are you? Thirty-five. Ooh. Slowly working our way up. Okay. You know what, let's go take a look at the bioluminescent. I don't know what's gonna happen, but we'll see. Should be okay. Here for a second. Can I? No. Right, see the. Uh, a little weird. It's really dark. Hey, why am I frozen? Oh, was it loading it in? Oh, okay, cool. Whoa. Whoa. Look at all that. That is no whoa. I mean, yeah, I've seen this like obviously I watch other YouTubers and stuff and I've seen them play aberration, but like Seeing it for yourself is oh god, oh god. Seeing it for yourself, that is uh, that is so cool. Uh, what is that? No, that's that plant. I don't know if that does anything, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do anything. I'm not gonna do anything to it. That. Is that a rock? That uh, it's completely dark. Like I can't see a thing. Look at this. Oh, that's just like grass, I guess. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I can't go in here right now. No, we need it. We need like a bulk dog or something. I guess that's. Oh no, the grass over there. What? Uh. Ooh, metal. Okay. Not bad. Now, where's the Ravager? Let's put that on him. Drop that. Okay, yeah. I think we're going to need some form of light because as much as you get light and everything from the bioluminescent area, I just don't think it's going to be enough. But, ooh, maybe not. Maybe not. This looks so cool. Come on, get up there. Whoa. Whoa. There's Ankies here. Oh, cool. 50, 60. Oh, God. 50, 60. 120. Oh, God. A 120 Ravager. Oof. No, no, no. I don't want to go down. Wow. You hear a waterfall. The <gasps> waterfall there. Okay. Can I? What is that? Titanoboa, okay. Uh, turn around. Turn around. There we go. Alright, so it looks like the Easter colored one. Yeah, is the 120. Oh, I'm gonna definitely want to get that too. How do we get you without. Hmm. What if. Nah, I don't feel like there's really a good way to do that. I don't know. Okay. Maybe we just gotta hope the area around us, like where our base is, that um, there's good Ravagers that eventually spawn over there. Because, yeah, I just don't think we're gonna be able to do it for the people. This is a really nice area. Oh my gosh. Get the big waterfall right here. I don't... And it doesn't even sound that loud. Like, it sounds a little loud, but what is that? 
Megalosaurus, is it nighttime? Uh, I can't tell if it's nighttime or not. Like, it won't tell me. 9:55. That's 9:55 in the morning. Shouldn't he be sleeping? Because he's a. Oh, well, maybe because we're down here in a cave. He's always going to be awake. Ooh. Oh god. Yeah. All right. Nope. 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 I'm doing this right now. We're not ready for this. <laughs> really cool area, but like, I'm not even going the right way. I'm just trying to get away from that thing. Oof, okay. All right, so well, now we know that's by luminescent area. Um, what if we head that way? Oh no, that's bioluminescent too. Okay. So the bioluminescent area, it seems like, is a big part of this map. Because it takes up, it looks like it's going to take up like half the map. It's this way. really over here so this might be okay like I'm not seeing oh I see something way down there Ooh. Ooh. 24 25 old dog 15 Get you guys, can't forget those. Got some more blue gems. Maybe we'll slowly but surely get ourselves a gliders. I don't know how many. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I don't know how many you need actually for it, but I really want to go. Ah, uh, I really want to go down there. I just don't know how we're getting back up. That's the problem. Looks like there's a path now. That's really dark. That's the problem. It's really, it's really dark. Oh god, I almost fell. Oh god. Yep, no. Let's turn off those run for a second. Oh my god. We wouldn't have died, but we would have ended up dying. There's no way we would have survived all that. Uh, what about you? <gasps> no. They're shine horns! Okay, what do I do? What do I do? Okay, what do I give you? I'm getting a shine horn. I'm getting it. Okay. Um. Um. All right, I'm going to try something. I, I'm not sure if this is the way to do it. Um, where's that stupid plant? Where's that stupid plant? I'm just going to pick that plant. Because I think that's... I think those are plant species X things. All right, we got to find it. We got to find it. Oh, my God. Okay, cool. I mean, it's only a level 35, but who cares? It's a shine horn. I didn't think... I thought you had to go all the way into the bioluminescent to get those... Okay, good. There's my... Okay, there it is. I don't know if this is going to work or not. Because that thing's kind of moving and stuff. Yeah. Oh, God. Are you going to attack me? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, God. I don't know what that does. Okay. What is around me? Oh, overwrap. Um, what if I attack it? Oh, what is it doing? Is that all it does? Uh, 
Uh, you are within the effects of a charge radius, protecting you from the name. Oh, these things are actually good. They're not going to actually hurt me. Can I pick you? No. Can I do this? Can I do this? But I can't pick you either. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay, he didn't pounce. Oh my gosh, that would have been so bad. Okay, so I can't get species X plants from that. Okay, that, that kind of thought it would. All right, let's just pick this. I think they take aquatic mushroom. I don't know. I mean, it's only like... I don't know. I know the species X is the biggest one that they'll take. I just don't know how to get it yet on here. So we're not going to get a great team with this one, but that's okay because it's a level 35. It doesn't really make a difference. It's just the fact that we found ourselves a shine horn. Um, this thing is... Oh, this thing's... Oh, God. The raptors. No, 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 no. Where's that shine horn? All right. I think we went up this way. And it was over here. Oh, no, I'm getting myself lost. No, I don't think it was up there. I felt like we were closer to the edge. Okay, so we're going to here. We were definitely closer to the edge. Okay. Probably down here somewhere. Where are you, little guy? Is that you? I think that's you. Yeah. Fifteen, you're not even the same one. Oh, I'm gonna look around here then. Maybe there's a few here. And wait, what just killed what? Uh, we got a snake here. Okay, that's not good. Alright, let's look around this area, because there is Shinehorn around here, which is actually really cool. Uh, what level is the snake? 80. Ooh. I always thought Shinehorn were only down there, but I guess... I guess there's a possibility you can get them up here. Alright, cool. Um... All right, where is... Okay, there's one here. It's a level 15. Yeah, you're the 15. I think I'm going to want to take out that Titanobo, because I feel like that's going to be a... Yeah, that's the other one. That's another one. 35. Okay, so I think that's the one that I was looking at. I wonder... Oh, you're a Lystro. Let me get rid of you, because you're gonna... Alright, so the best in the area so far is a 30. I'm gonna do some looking around here. Uh, maybe I'll come across a, a another level. I don't know. I think... I think we're a little bit too far away. I feel like they would have been closer to the um, bioluminescent region, but you never know. Maybe, I don't know, maybe there's one over this way. Um, but 35 is the best so far. So I'm going to look around. Let me see if I can find something. What the f is that? <gasps> That's a rock drake. What? <laughs> That thing is... So oh, that's right. It does camo. Or, like, invisible... Level 5. Wait, there's Gigantopithecus on here, too? What? What's he gonna go after? Why is he coming towards me? No, he's... Oh, God, he's getting close. That is so cool. He's not fighting anything. Is he gonna, like, not go camo anymore? I kind of want to see what colors he is. I don't want to attack him, though, either, because I feel like... 
Okay, I guess we're not going that way. Uh, 35 is more than enough at this point. I am not going up that way. All right, 35 is more than good enough for Shinehorn for now. Whoa. Rock Drake. Okay. So cool. Get one eventually, but that's way down the road. Uh, don't think I can... Nah, it's just... Okay. Alright, where's that 35? We'll get that, and then we'll be on our merry way. Where are you, little shine horn? I think it's you? Yeah, 35. Okay, do I want you or the purple one? I do like the blue... Nah, I like the blue... Um, little... <gasps> no! You won't take that. Oh, no. Um, I don't know. I don't know. If you're not gonna take that, are you gonna take this? Speed. 99.9 .9 anyways. Oh, cool. You'll take that. Oh my god, this is so cool. Come on. Come on. Speed. Yes! Oh my god, these things are so cool. <laughs> Alright, cool. Um, let's see here. Oh, what level did get? It doesn't really matter. I mean everything I feel like I feel like with this we would put just it into Yeah, everything's gonna be okay, charge emission range, charge regen, charge capacity. So probably capacity and regen, possibly. Pick up. <gasps> oh, and they sit on your shoulder, that's so cool. He is cool looking. Should we try the other one? Let's see if the other one's better. Where's the other one? There he is. I mean, he's only a 15, but still. I wonder if I hoard this area and I literally just continuously get them. Are they going to continue to respawn? And then could we possibly get another high level? Another high level. Wait, this one has 239. No, okay. So the other one's better. All right, that's fine. No big deal. You look cool, though. Oh, these things are freaking cute. <laughs> uh. All right, I'm going to look around here. I'm going to see if I find some more. Um, all right, we are right on the edge of the bioluminescence, so apparently you can get these without almost killing yourself going in there. That's awesome. That is so cool. All right, I think I'm going to hang out here and try to get a few more of these guys. Um, I'm going to end the, end the episode here, though, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, smash that like button. Questions, comments, leave it down below. Um, so what did we do today? Uh, we found a couple of metal nodes. Uh, we went on a bit of an adventure. Uh, we found the bioluminescent area. We haven't been in there yet, but we found it. And we picked up some shine horns. So pretty good day overall. Um, definitely excited to... Um, head into the bioluminescent. We're going to be doing that kind of soon, I would hope, um, now that we have um, light, really, which is cool. Um, anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this one. Smash that like button. Have a good one, everyone.